Hello, St. Ambrose. I'm Michael Kujan with our Faith Formation team for the adults. This past Sunday, we started a new series on endings and beginnings. You know, every ending has a beginning, and we are going to be studying over the next few weeks of our series here what it is that our faith tells us about the end times, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. In our session this past week, we looked at a number of sources that tell us about how God has a plan for us. You know, there are so many things we've heard in our lives about the end times. Maybe movies we've seen like Armageddon or 2012. Maybe even some book series like Left Behind you may have read. Lots of ideas and theories about what's going to happen as the world ends, which we hear talked about in the Bible. But it's important to make clear what the church teaches about our end of life, the end of all things, because rather than get freaked out and have all doomsday going on, we want to place our complete trust in Jesus and have peace of mind about that. So throughout the church year, we celebrate many seasons and these involve endings and beginnings. We are now entering into the season of Advent, which is about expecting Jesus coming on Christmas Day but it's also about expecting him coming again at the end of time to prepare our hearts for that. So this series is a good opportunity to continue reflecting on our preparedness for Jesus. Now, in the scriptures, we find a lot about God's story for our life. We have, first of all, the idea that we are born and we die, but it's broader than that. We come from our ancestors, and we hand things on to our children. But it's even more than that. It involves coming as God's people from God, and then, at the end of all things, returning back to God. It's within that story that we find ourselves expecting the end, but we know not when. So we always must be prepared. The book of Revelation gives us especially a number of images for the end times and how things will be wrapped up with God's justice over all things. It's part of a genre of literature called apocalyptic. It unveils great mysteries of our faith, which can only be spoken to in many ways by symbols. But the way that we interpret these symbols in the church helps us to have some peace of mind rather than be scared about a scary image that we find in the book of Revelation. So we've provided a list of resources for everyone to uh, find a link to that includes Old Testament and New Testament references to various themes about the end of all things and about our own death and our expectation for heaven or hell. So in the scriptures we find God has a a desire to enact justice upon the world in a spirit of mercy at the same time. God has authority sitting on his throne and we expect to join him in the heavenly hosts in his heavenly court at the end. There are many powers in this world that work for evil, but the, in the end, it is believed that the day of the Lord will come in which God will bring all things under himself and all will be made right in accord with the Lord. We expect the coming of a son of man, a Messiah in Jewish tradition, and this is the one who will bring about God's kingdom. We believe that in God's kingdom we will all join into a family banquet as God's people. By the time we get to the New Testament, we have many teachings of Jesus and the apostles about how Jesus has certainly come to us to save us but he will come one final time to bring about the end. And we, know, we don't know when it's going to be, but we trust in God that he is bringing us to that future which begins now. God will judge the world. He will prepare us for heaven by his grace. Those who reject his grace may find themselves on the outside of God's kingdom in the state we call hell. And there are many things that we can see in our world as signs of the times, signs of how evil is doing its thing, but ultimately it's not as powerful as what Christ will do. So we place our trust in Christ in all ages of our church's history and in our lives today. We expect 
the coming of God's kingdom, which is already here, but not yet fully. And we believe in the resurrection of Jesus, which transcends death itself, so that we will share in what Christ has himself done in dying and rising. There may be many things we endure and struggle in our daily lives to be ready for Jesus, but those things are just a way to prepare us for the end. Because our world is not our home. Our home is in God. We are returning to God. And if you'll join us for our next session on the 27th of November, we'll take a look at our personal journey towards God, our death, our judgment by God, and our journey towards either heaven or hell. So join me if you can for our next session with Tommy and Bob and our Faith Formation team.